हेलो गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम फॉर रिविजन सेक्शन ऑफ कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग दिस इज स्पेशली फॉर ऑल माय एस बी यू पी स्टूडेंट्स हुज मिड टर्म एग्जाम्स आर डी सो इन योर कॉस्ट अकाउंटिंग सिलेबस बीन सजेस्टेड आर थ्री टॉपिक्स दीज आर द प्रैक्टिकल वंस नेमली कॉस्ट शीट फ्लेक्सिबल बजेट एंड कैश बजेट ऑफ कोर्स दिस दिज आर कवर्ड अंडर टू यूनिट्स वन इज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कॉस्ट एंड सेकेंड इज बजेटरी कंट्रोल फ्यू मोर टॉपिक्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द थियरी पार्ट इज डेफिनेटली इंक्लूडेड फॉर विच अ सेपरेट वीडियो विल बी मेड लेटर ऑन इन द करंट वीडियो आई एम शेयरिंग विथ ऑल ऑफ यू द बेसिक्स ऑफ कॉस्ट शीट सो वॉट इज कॉस्ट शीट फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ड कॉस्ट refers to the sum total of all expenses that are incurred to manufacture or produce a product so koi bhi cheez banane ke liye humko jo expense karna hota hai wo sab jod kar humko jo cost milta hai ya wo jo humko total kharcha milta hai that is called as a cost cost if we try to understand in a better way cost prime three aspects we can definitely bifurcate cost on various aspects like you can see on the screen on the basis of nature we can bifurcate cost as fixed cost and variable cost so what is a fixed cost all of you might have heard till now that that part of cost which remains fixed irrespective of the units produced or uh, what is called as sold that is fixed cost like for example we can say rent is a classic example of fixed cost whatever units you produced but the rent paid to the landlord rent paid to the owner of the building is definitely fixed per month so it comes under fixed cost variable cost is that part of cost which directly is affected by the units produced or sold so in that we have material cost we have the labor cost which is directly variable so fixed cost and variable cost this is definitely important analysis which we will learn maybe in chapter number 2 when we are preparing flexible budget but today one more category of cost which is important for all of us to understand is the types of cost based on cost sheet so what is a cost sheet a cost sheet is a statement which records the total cost of goods manufactured so if we try to understand or analyze the cost we can see cost is analyzed or bifurcated as prime cost works cost cost of production and cost of sales now what is this let us try to understand one by one there are five formulas which you have to understand and all these topics will get clear so prime prime means direct as i just spoke about variable cost i told there are three basic costs which are considered as the main cost so together they called as uh, they are called as the direct cost or the prime cost so in that we have the direct uh, material we have direct wages and we have direct expenses when this prime cost we add the factory overheads which are incurred that is when we get at works cost in costing the word works refers to factory so works cost simply translates to factory cost so in the prime cost when we add factory overheads we get works cost moving ahead in the works cost when we add office and administration overheads we get something called as the cost of production and in the cost of production when we add selling and distribution overheads we get the cost of sales so uh, in five formulas so direct material plus direct wages plus direct expenses gives us prime cost prime cost plus factory overheads is works cost works cost plus office overheads is cost of production cost of production plus selling and distribution overheads is cost of sales so simple 
and finally when we compare the cost of sales and sales we get profit so cost of sales plus profit is equal to sales okay one more important thing in cost accounting the expenses are referred to as overheads so we have three categories of overheads as you can see in my screen the factory overheads the office overheads and selling and distribution overheads so what are these overheads let us understand we all have learned we all know this just it's a matter of understanding things again so factory overheads refers to all those expenses which are incurred at the factory it may be a factory rent it may be power and fuel it may be any expense which is related to factory it may be depreciation on plant and machinery the repairs to plant and machinery that happens in factory so anything and everything which is related or incurred at the factory site is called as factory overheads what is office overheads very simple the overheads the expenses which are incurred at the office level is called as office overheads and likewise all those expenses which are incurred for selling the goods are called as selling and distribution let us try to understand with so factory overheads i have given some 10 examples likewise office and administration selling and distribution and you know all of these so just to read you out okay indirect wages we write direct wages in prime cost so indirect wages comes under factory overheads likewise direct material is prime cost but indirect material is factory overheads you can see power and fuel factory rent works managers i repeat works in costing is factory so factory manager salary plant maintenance depreciation on plant and factory employee salaries likewise office and administrative will include office rent office salaries printing and stationery director salary audit fees general expenses depreciation on furniture depreciation on building of course i am presuming it's an office building if they specify it's a factory building that item will get transferred to factory overheads when it comes to selling and distribution overheads it's carried outward commission salesman salaries travelling expenses advertising discount allowed selling expenses and depreciation on delivery van very simple common examples of selling and distribution overheads now to understand how to prepare a cost sheet it's very simple you just put down the five formulas together the prime cost the works cost the cost of production cost of sales and sales you get cost a cost sheet typically looks like this we start with direct materials we add direct wages we add direct expenses we get prime cost we add to it the factory overheads we get the works cost further we add office and administration overheads we get cost of production and when we add selling and distribution overheads we get cost of sales we compare that with sales and the difference is either net profit or net loss it's very simple a few of you might be wondering that many expenses are still not seen here yeah this is cost accounting a specialized branch of accounting you need to understand this is not financial accounting wherein we record all the incomes and expenses here the main emphasis is on production manufacturers is the category of people who are more into preparation of cost sheet so here the financial items when i talk about financial items it includes the income tax it includes all the donations it includes the interest paid any expenses which are purely related to finance like transfer to reserves okay these are all excluded excluded specifically while preparing cost sheet so these are not to be included in cost sheet even if it is given in the question you just have to ignore and move ahead one controversial item which i always like to touch upon is bad debts there are difference of opinion as far as the effect of bad debts is concerned a few experts consider bad debts as selling and distribution overheads according to whatever i have read whatever i understand accounts bad debts is a financial loss and hence it needs to be excluded from cost sheet but then whatever you follow you follow one certain principle one certain set of books certain authors certain teachers that you like and i think you should reach to your destination pretty comfortably if you think this is the end of this chapter no some things which are very important and which needs to be considered at this stage are the stocks 
we know stocks can be of three types it can be stock of raw material it can be stock of work in progress or stock of finished goods does this stock affect our cost sheet the answer is yes it does affect how does it affect we will understand in the next thing before i move ahead i would suggest students to write down this format at least 3 4 times before the end of the day so that they are able to understand and maybe even follow the things in a easier perspective this is the basic now the effect of stock if you understand separately and combine that is the end of the chapter so friends stock as i speak if i am having stock of material that's directly going to affect my material cost so instead of writing direct material at the beginning i would write material consume and naturally the formula will be opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock now when there is purchase of material given specifically you may be given carriage inward as an expense incidental to purchase of material so if that is given you need to add to the material consumed so first things first if stocks of raw material are given instead of writing direct material you will write material consumed further when we talk about work in progress work in progress is that part of stock or that goods which are still in a semi finished stage so it affects our works cost so once you arrive at works cost we call the works cost as gross works cost and then we add we add the opening stock of work in progress and deduct the closing stock of work in progress so we get something called as net works cost so this portion of works cost get affected likewise finished goods affects the cost of production in the cost of production we add opening stock of finished goods and we deduct the closing stock of finished goods we get cost of goods sold so friends so effect of stock in the cost sheet if it is raw material it is called as raw material consumed work in progress we get net works cost and in stock of finished goods we get cost of goods sold one very important thing is you may be asked to value the closing stock of finished goods as a separate question in cost sheet and that's very important when we solve practical questions of course i will highlight on the same but as a student what you need to understand before i teach you that this is the revised format of our cost sheet you see the changes and it is already incorporate now when we come here the closing stock of finished goods remember closing stock of finished goods is a part of current year's production so you have to calculate the per unit cost of production per unit cost of production depending upon the units produced and that per unit will be multiplied by the units of finished goods that is number of units of finished goods that is how you arrive at closing stock immediate question arises sir what is to be done about opening stock now this year's opening stock is last year's closing stock so that value will be always given to us in the question you need not worry about that i hope i have been able to justify the things that you require for understanding the format of cost sheet we will talk about practical questions related to this particular topic thank you have a great day